Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm kind of late having had issues with, I, I was having issues with my Zoom. So I'm really sorry about it that I'm late. Okay, so good evening, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I, I can complain that it's uh, really busy day. And... A, a busy day? <laughs> yes, it's yes. happening, it's happening. I, I have flu. Oh my it's, God. It's, yeah. it's, I yes. Know. You have to take care of the flu right now. Uh, guys, I'm really, so, I'm really sorry. I really apologize for uh, being kind of late because I was having issues with Zoom and my, it was a stop. So I hope that everything will be okay now. Okay, so let me just open the file for an, uh, the, our class, okay? And see if we can start right now. Let me just go. Uh, Okay. Oh my God. How can I uh, just let me? Okay. Okay, I got it over here. Okay, the topic from yesterday, guy. What was the topic? Uh huh. What was the topic? Let me share with you the, the topic uh, from yesterday. The past continuous versus simple past, present. Yes. Simple past, past, pardon. Uh, no, that's all right. That's all right. Don't worry. Thank you for helping. Okay. So yesterday, in fact, we were uh, talking. Uh, we were uh, uh, talking for some reason. I can open mic. Ah, okay. So thank you very much for letting me know. And um, yes, we were yesterday. We were talking. We were using um, we were using the past continuous. So today is uh, remember that we are talking about. Uh, oh my God! Are you listening to me still? Are you able to listen? Yes. yes. Okay. I guess uh, PowerPoint stopped right now. <laughs> uh, let me just see if I can close it. I hope that the problem is not with soon anymore. So let me, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, my presentation. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yes, it was uh, it was that one. So it was the past continuous with the present. Remember that the past continuous is an action that was uh, going in the past, okay, and going in the past, but suddenly it was interrupted by another action. Uh, for example, let's listen to this. Page 23, exercise three, grammar focus. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an ongoing action in the past. Use the simple past for an event that interrupts that action. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Okay, uh, remember that the story was about a, a robber, a robbery, and uh, a, a thief was robbing a bank or something. So he was escaping from the bank, and what happened to him?
And what's happened to him? He stopped uh, running away from the bank. What's happened? That the robber? That the robber got caught in the revolving and, door. And uh, yeah, so his escaping was interrupted by another action. Okay, so uh, that's that's the idea. So the past continue is an action that was ongoing, and then um, the simple uh, there was another action that we use the simple past in order to, uh, to interrupt the the action before. So we uh, we were the, we're just going to be just real quickly on this one. So and it says uh, look at the bird closest while. Okay, while as an as. So when we use while or as, we use a comma. But when we use uh, when we use when, there is not a comma because when it goes between the two sentences and and the, and when connected the two te sentences, making one idea. So I'm not going to. Um, uh, go over there much. So, if, for example, it says the secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg to her. Okay. Uh, or I was, for example, I was saying yesterday, uh, I was teaching my English class when uh, I had I had issues with Zoom. Okay. Or while I was teaching my English class. Comma, I had, past tense of had, issues with my presentation or Zoom, whatever. Okay, so the man was running, and what happened? The man was running, and he? He tripped. A triped, yes. So the, the first action was interrupted by the first one. Okay, we were checking these activities. Okay, did you do it? What would be the first one? This story. There, there are three stories over here. What is the first story? Wild divers. Wild divers were working. Were working off the coast of Florida. <clears throat> Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, what is the meaning of working off? Uh, working off. Uh, they were uh, la, la, trabajando. Uh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter uh, the word off. No, the... no. It means that they were working. And oh, they, okay, thank you. No, they didn't stop. They they off the coast means afuera de la costa. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, they were working off the coast of Florida. They discovered. Uh huh. Do you remember what is a ship rate? <clears throat> it's a, a second. Um... Yeah, as a. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sink, yeah, uh, the 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 ship sink uh, under the water, yeah. so that's why uh, the divers remember that the divers were working off the coast. It means this is the coast where La Arena is, La Playa, and everything, the beaches, and then they were working on the water. So they were checking. They were after the sh the ship rate. Uh huh. They were looking for the rate. And the shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. The divers, the divers were filming. Uh -huh, the divers were filming a show about coral reefs when they found the gold. When they wow. found the gold. Wow, what a lucky day. Okay, so um, let me see if I am recording this. I guess so, right? Okay. And what is the second story about? As a man
As a woman was walking. As a woman, ah, sorry, thank you. As a woman was walking, uh -huh, her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist noticed. Noticed. Yes, a hairstylist noticed. Then through the window, and suddenly had had a great idea and suddenly had a great idea later while he was great he was great creating uh, uh, he, he was a creating he was creating <laughs> he was creating a new line of her care product for dogs and cats he came up with uh -huh, he came up with okay he came up with every time what is mister when i'm going to use the present the past continuous or the simple past well it's easy guys if you see if you see the word let me if you see the, this word, what is the word over here? What is the word? Why? 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 And you <clears throat> see the and other one. Has. And, uh -huh. has. and then that it means that I'm going to use the past continuous. Okay? The past continuous. So, and the rest of the sentences will be simple past. Look over there when we use uh, he was um, he was creating. What is the word that is preceded uh, preceded the subject pronoun? What is the word? While. 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 Mm -hmm. And the rest of the sent and the rest of the words that are missing over there almost 99% uh, that they will be in the simple past. Teacher, I have a question. A little yes, bit. sure. I don't know, I'm confused. What about when the with the word while goes on the final of the of the of the sentence of the sentence of the request? Uh, in 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 uh, another in other grammar forms, whiles will be at in the middle of the sentence, like for okay. example. Uh -huh. Like, for example, uh, let me see if I can go to, um, oh, I'm having this mark over there. Let me see if I can go to the other, to the previous one. Uh, remember how do we use when? Do you remember when? Yes. Ah, it will be almost this, uh, the same one, okay? For example, it says, the secretary was making a speech. Uh -huh. But in that case, will be the other way. A protester to an egg at a secretary while she was making a speech. Uh, the, the question that you did sometimes can be, we can use while in the middle where when is over here, but and then the first sentence, the, the first sentence will be in the simple past and the, and the second sentence will be in the past continuum. So a protester to a neck at the secretary while she was making a speech. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where about when the people say I'm a, I'm gonna be in a while. Ah uh, no, that's different word. That's that's um that's just an uh what was this the sentence? I'm sorry, what was the sentence again? Um excuse me, I'm gonna be in a while. Ah, I'm going to be there in a while. It means that yeah. uh in a in a very brief time the people will get to you. 
Oh, uh, Saul called, uh, my wife says, uh, my wife says, hey, Fidencio, and that's my name, Jose Fidencio Lopez. And I said, Fidencio, oh, Jose, like she called me. Uh, Jose, uh, Saul called you. Oh, okay, thank you. I'll call him in a while. It means that I'll, I'm going back to you in a very short time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, like that. Uh, so, le llamaré dentro de un ratito. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but but the, the word is the same. But I, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this in Spanish. Para su pregunta, eso es muy válida. Eh, si puede usar while entre medio de las oraciones. Y si puede. Pero entonces la primera oración tendría que ir en el, en el pasado simple y la segunda en, en, pre, en pasado continuo. Después de while. Okay. ¿Mm? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So okay. it says. <clears throat> okay. And uh, we were over here. We we were on the on the third story, right? Okay. Uh, the third story over there is a rescue the ambulance. An ambulance driver. What will be the the? Huh? Was was having. Was having. Let's see. See, was having breakfast in a coffee shop. When? When a woman hopped. A woman hopped. Yes. Okay. Why can, why do you use uh, past continuous in this sentence? Because when is in the position that was an example of friendship. So it was connecting the two ideas. So I hope that this, uh, let me just. Um, okay, it was connecting the two ideas. So that's why you know that uh, uh, it says, uh, when a woman hopped into the ambulance and away. And drove and, away. And drove, drove. drove away. Drove away. Yes. Uh, the driver. To a hurry up. Was uh, hurry. Um, hurry up because hurry. Um, almost never. I'm going to say almost never have an ING. Um, because uh, right now I don't recall an example, but uh, almost never hurry is only used, uh, we can use the present and the simple past. Or oh, the past continue because it's, I mean, the, the past participle because it's a regular verb. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, Alonso, about, David. About the word hurry, um, mm -hmm. can we say in, in, the, in the present continuous, I was in a hurry, right? Yeah, I was in a hurry, but that was uh, the simple past. Me, okay, I am. But instead of say I am in a hurry, I was in a hurry. Uh, huh? Yeah, because I, I was with a doubt because I have never seen hurry with um, no, ID. <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't believe that it has ING. Uh -huh. And you're right, that's yeah. a good question. Thank you, David. Thank and, you. Uh, and to a phone and the police. And alerted. Alerted. Yes. Uh, this I like this uh, like this word alerted because I can pronounce uh, in a good way like rented, wanted. They are very easy. The problem is when the, the other words. Okay, so the police alerted the police, the carjacker. What is a carjacker? Uh, what is a carjacker guy?
Se carga las tarjetas. No. Los carros. No. Es someone who, someone who steal a car. And especially with someone inside. That's a hardjacker. A carjacker. You know, there are many stories in the United States that uh, a, 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 a robber or a, a thief robbed a car with a kid inside. So he became a carjacker. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who steal a car, a robo un carro, or secuestrador de carro, okay? Like, not a good translation though. Okay, so the carjacker over 90 miles an hour. Uh -huh. The carjacker went over. Ah, the carjacker was going. Uh -huh. Where, why do we use uh, was going? See the, the rest of the sentence and you will see, if you see this one, what is the word? I'm sorry, I covered him. What is the word? When. 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 Okay, just look quickly with your eyes. Okay, ah, when, and then the first sentence you gotta be and the past continue. So the carjacker was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally, finally. Catch up. up. Catch up. up. Yeah, uh, caught up, caught up. Maha with her. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, so it means the simple past, we use it, uh, uh, past continue versus simple past is used. Simple past is used when ongoing action is interrupted by another action, okay? So, so for example, I can say, I was drinking water, I was drinking water, when, when I I started coughing, <coughs> mm -hmm. so that's that's gonna say. Oh, while I was drinking water, comma I started coughing, <coughs> in this way. Mm -hmm. So my drinking water was interrupted by my cough. See, do you get the the idea? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like uh, I was telling the other group, um, uh, sometimes they said, ah, okay, okay, guys, I want you to do this one. Think and, not three, two activities that you were doing, but they, these activities were interrupted by another. Please, and write it down. Okay, you have like three minutes. Two ideas, write it down. For example, I was, I was watching TV as while I was watching TV, me, me. While I was watching TV, the bear door ran. Mm -hmm. uh, while I was watching the news, my puppy started uh, barking. Okay, so, my watching TV was interrupted because of my puppy. Please write it down. You have three minutes. Ah, oh, okay. I was watching TV when the lights went off. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Uh, good drive to your house. <coughs> Uh-huh. Please write it. <laughs> right? You have to write the ideas. Two more minutes.
Ah, good, excellent. Okay. Good. Please, uh, the rest of you, write a sentence. One sentence on the chat. I'm sure your sentences will, will uh, differ. Okay, time is over. But write your sentence. Well, I will read you this one. While I was uh, dancing, when the music finished. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, while I was sleeping, the dog began to bark. Yes, okay. Good. And uh, I just remember that we had to, I was watching TV when the lights went off. Uh-huh. And remember if the lights uh, go, go out on the whole city and you know, almost whole San Salvador, that will be a blackout. Okay, good guys. So we cannot stop too much on this one, but uh, I hope that you're getting the idea. We're discussing over there. Okay, a little bit more practice. Okay, we have these expressions over there. And it says, I was crossing the road when a car hit me. I guess we did yes, uh, yesterday this one, right? Yes? Hey guys, we did this yesterday, right? No, teacher, we didn't, the, we ah, didn't do that. We right. start we started discussing about this one. Yes. Okay, yes. you have you have these phrases over there, and this is on uh, so uh and this is over there. It, it's easier, it's it's the same. This is where more practice uh, will give you a little bit more. And I cannot send you to breakup rooms because I had an issue with this one a while before. So, for example, you say I was I was crossing the road, a car nearly hit me. So, as I was crossing the road, a car nearly hit me. I was using my computer when it suddenly stopped working. Uh, okay, and then what will be the what will be the the sentence? Remember I was, mm -hmm. I was using my computer when it suddenly stopped working. It stopped working. Okay, but just don't forget to use as or while at the beginning of the sentence. While I was using my computer, it suddenly stopped working. Or as I was. Okay, but your sentence is really good. Thank you very much. Very nice. Excellent. An applause for you and for all of you guys. I'm sure that many. Okay, what about the other? We were playing tennis, <clears throat> and what happened? <clears throat> so why was tennis interrupted? I burned my finger. Mm, we were playing tennis, like this. My racket broke. Ah, my racket broke. So the sentence will be. Why we're playing Why I was tennis? Using, tennis? Why uh -huh. playing tennis? My racket? When my, my racket, racket broke. 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 While I was playing tennis, my racket broke. Mm -hmm. I was taking a shower. Oh my god! And why was the shower interrupted? The water went cold. The water went cold. Well, in a cold weather, not in El Salvador, of course, right? So, uh, and then I said, ah, okay. 
Ah, para here, remember that I use when over there. Can I use when? Yes. Good. Okay, I was yeah. taking a shower when the water went cold. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, almost basically a, a basic conversation, basic talk, but remember, everything requires practice, okay? So, and the other is, I was cooking. I was cooking dinner when I burned my finger. Aha, uh -huh. and the sentence will be? And the sentence will be? When well, I was cooking dinner, I, uh, I burned my finger. I burned when my I burned. finger. Mm -hmm. oh. I burned my finger. While I was cooking dinner, I burned my finger. As I was cooking dinner, as I was cooking dinner, I burned my finger. I was cooking dinner when I burned my finger. It's just a matter of practice, okay? And these are the others, but uh, we're going, we need to continue. We will do it together, but we need to continue with the rest of the topic that we are missing. And uh, this is a conversation that I got it from another is another uh, the workbook. I'm sorry, I am so late, Kathy. I was at the dentist. Tell me, while you, what is it? Where is she? Uh -huh. You were sitting in the waiting room. You, you met. Yes, you met. Um, meet does not have, does not use an ING. Okay, that's you. Uh, you met someone interesting. I know how you are, Tom. Okay, it's very picky. And uh, you, uh, well, you're wrong this time. The dentist. Hmm? Was clean. Was cleaning my teeth when suddenly. The, the, the action Good. from the dentist was interrupted. So when she got suddenly cold. got called away from a, an emergency, I just sat there waiting for two hours with my mouth and you know, and you know, open. Okay. And this is the second one. Uh huh. Guess what? Happened to me last night. As I was getting. Uh huh. As I, there comes the epas. As I was getting into bed, I. I heard. I heard. A loud noise. Like a gunshot in the street. Mm -hmm. Then the phone rang. Then the phone ran. Okay. Who was it? It was Mariana. She always calls me late at night, but she's, but this time she had a reason. She drove. She drove. Okay. She drove. Ah. She was driving. She was driving. Look at the, look at here. Uh, the, there is when. Okay, we are using when. She was driving when she got when she got a flat tire. I was very late, so uh, so while we were changing, we're changing the tire, I invited, invited her to invited. spend the night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, I want you to do me 
an activity from your house, okay? Okay, I want you to read the two stories, the two stories, but in a loud voice, por favor, lea las historias en voz alta. No enciende el micrófono. Don't turn on the microphone, okay? Just read it by yourself over there. Que se oiga a sí mismo. Ready? Uh, put your finger over here with light. When you finish. Thanks. Okay, the next one. Read it in a loud voice. Que se escuchen. Uh, Yes, Francisco? No, nothing. Ah, oh, okay, okay, great. Okay, hey guys, this activity, do it yourself from time to time, okay? That will help you develop this one and this one because when you talk, when you speak, you listen to yourself, okay? And that will, uh, and that will help you um, uh, more. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's see what is next. Okay, a listening. Remember that we are listening to stories. We are listening to stories. And so what is the objective? Oh, I, my children were playing video games. Suddenly they fought. Yes, excellent, uh, era. excellent. And Nubia says I was, in English class, when internet went away. Good. Okay. Excellent. I was watching videos on YouTube when my internet failed. Mm -hmm. I was eating an apple when I saw a worm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent. Nice. You see, guys, you can do it. You can do it. It's just a matter of practice. Okay. You know, I always tell my students, I always tell my students, and I hope this is not a, uh, yo no les enseño inglés, solo les enseño qué hacer para que usted lo produzca, okay? Because in so uh, uh, short time, I just can tell, do this, do that, do that, do that, and then you will be in, uh, uh, okay. Okay. What is the objective over there? Uh, let's see someone who, uh, Carlos Alberto, could you help me with the uh, learning objective, please, of this activity? Uh -huh. Carlos, Ruth, Mar Ruth Marielos, can you help me with the learning objective? Ruth Marielos, just read the learning objective. Hey, Renato, can you help me? Oh, 
Okay, Claudia, go ahead. Develop a skill in listening for detail and mm -hmm. develop not taking a skill. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Claudia. Thank you. That was very good. So, yes, we are going to develop a skills and listening for details. What are details? Um, how can I say it? Uh, small, uh, small stories, small stories, more or less. And develop note taking. So you're going to use your beautiful notebook and you're just going to take notes. You're not going to write sentences or long phrases. No, just a word, a small phrase, a two, three word phrase and you, in order to answer the question. So what is the first, um, what is the first question? Where did what, it happen? Where did it happen? So you have to remember that this is the setup of the stories. The stories always got a place, got a reason, and what did it happen, and when did it happen, and what happened, and what happened to the story. So, in your note, please uh, take your notebook and take notes. Okay. Use a word or a phrase in order to answer the the thing. Page 24, exercise five, listening, news broadcasts, part A. Listen to news broadcasts about three events. Do the stories have a happy ending? Take notes about each event. One. A man who considered himself a snake charmer was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man rushed to see the giant snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The snake charmer put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake almost strangled him to death. Two. Okay, what happened in the first, uh, uh, what work did it happen? Teacher, I didn't understand very well, but it was related to a snake. Yes, it was, a, it, it, the issue was a, a snake, uh-huh. Thailand? In, in town, the Thai, of Thailand. Ah, Thailand. okay. And who says another thing? Okay, in Thailand. So I, I, I heard one of you ladies talking and says, yeah, it happened in, in Thailand. Okay, w when did it happen? Okay, let's listen to the second one and we're going to construct the answers little by little. But not <laughs> Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore, so they decided to jump off the ship and swim to shore they found themselves on a deserted part of the Australian coast and had to walk over 100 miles to the nearest town. Three. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers who were pursuing a car thief down Hollywood Boulevard in a high-speed chase were rescued by the thief. During the chase, the officer's car overturned and fell into a shallow river. The officers couldn't get out of the car, which was rapidly filling up with water. The thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers. The Hollywood Police Department has decided to drop charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay. 
Okay, I will play it again and I will stop after each story, okay? And then we uh, begin with the, with the answers. Page 24, exercise five, listening, news broadcasts, part A. Listen to news broadcasts about three events. Do the stories have a happy ending? Take notes about each event. One. A man who considered himself a snake charmer was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man rushed to see the giant snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The snake charmer put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake almost strangled him to death. Okay, so it happened in Thailand. When did it happen? Sunday. Okay, so it happened on Sunday. What's happened? The snake is strangled. Yeah, the snake the snake strangled him. Yes, and almost <laughs> to death. Almost to death. Yeah, this story it had to happen. Um, it happened in Thailand on Sunday, and the next almost strangled the guy. But the next, did did the snake kill the man or no? No, it, it no, no. Oh, he didn't. Not. No, it, no, it didn't. Right. No, of course. Was that a happy ending? No. But the snake that didn't kill the man. Yes, we can say that it was a happy ending. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we can say, but your answer no is okay. Because the idea is that you talk to me. Okay? Yeah, the, the, the snake name. Okay, let's see number two. Two. <laughs> Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore, so they decided to jump off the ship and swim to shore. They found themselves on a deserted part of the Australian coast and had to walk over 100 miles to the nearest town. Oops. Okay. Uh, where did it happen? Australia. Australia. It was going and, uh, to a different and, wave. Yeah. And, and when did it happen? On what date? Friday. Friday. Okay, Friday. On Friday, yeah. On Friday. So what's happened? The ship. Uh-huh. It's about a person that he was found out after he was um, he was falling asleep in the ship, I think. <laughs> yeah, the 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 teenage uh, teenage uh, yeah. the teenage girls who disappeared were found. Okay. Yeah, yes. but uh-huh. Yes, David. Yeah. Um, no, I was only saying that uh, she was disappeared because he fell asleep in the ship. <laughs> yes, they fell asleep on the ship, and uh, they fell asleep, and they didn't, didn't know what as uh, went. So good. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies, that's for you. Number three. Three. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers who were pursuing a car thief down Hollywood Boulevard in a high-speed chase were rescued by the thief. During the chase, the officer's car overturned and fell into a shallow river. The officers couldn't get out of the car, which was rapidly filling up with water. The thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers. The Hollywood Police Department has decided to drop charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Aha, uh -huh, ladies. Where did it happen? 
California. California. In California. Okay, good. And what day? Or, Thursday. On on Tuesday, yes. <laughs> on Tuesday. Oh, don't worry, I hear on Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Good, excellent, great. And what's happened? The officer rescued the detective. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. And uh, the police officers were rescued, okay, by the thief. <laughs> so they were about to catch him, uh, to cut, get him uh, in, to the jail, but the thief decided, mm, I will rescue this police officer. So good, excellent. You know what you were doing? You were getting in the information, but then you would put it out. And that's English about. Okay, so thank you. Very good to uh, all of you, uh, boys and girls. Okay, great. Okay, which is story most interesting and why? Okay, we're not going to stop a little bit over here. Okay, um, let me, before we continue, let me, um, because almost happened to me, let me take attendance, okay? And uh, let me take your attendance before anything happened. I will have you here, guys, I'm sorry, like a, a little bit to a longer, like 12 minutes because I need to cover an hour. Okay. Um, I'm sure you, you're about to sleep. Carlos Alberto? Is Carlos Alberto Martinez here? Present. Okay, good. And Claudia Maria Garcia? Present. Daniela Mercedes Mendez? Daniela? Eh, David Alonso Mejia? Present. Eda Lisset Lis Seth Pineda. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Uh, Glendy Elisette Flores Ramirez. Present. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Uh, Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Uh, Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Present teacher. Eh, Nubia Cristina Morales eh, Benavides. Present teacher. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Uh, Rebeca Ionelli Hernández. Re Rebeca Ionelli Hernández Castellanos. Eh, Rebeca Paola Granados Iglesias. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Uh, Ruth Marielo Samaya. Ru Ruth Marielo. Present. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Ok. Silvia Tatiana Costa Hernández. Silvia. Okay, guys, so we're just going to discuss a little bit. I'm sorry that I will have you like uh, seven minutes more. I know that you're tired, but uh, I need, we need to cover an hour over here. Okay. Uh, let me see. I got a message of my children were playing on videos. My, ah, present and teach. Okay, good. Ah, uh, that's Sylvia. 
I don't know if I put it over there, but I guess so. Okay, so which of the stories is more, uh, uh, which story do you find the most interesting and why? Uh, not sharing. Uh huh. Let's see. Luis Fernando. Um, yes. Uh, which story do you find more interesting of the three? Uh, well, maybe, maybe no interesting, but funny, the third one, that uh, the police was, uh -huh. were arguing by, by the thief. Uh huh. And why do you find it have it uh, funny? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, so so weird and ex and extreme strange that uh, you call a a thief and then the thief is <laughs> is risk you to I don't know for any reason. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe at the end he was a human being, was very touching, okay? He was very pretty uh, pleased about the police officer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. imagine a, a thief uh, trying to save a police officer. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of silly. I understand your point. It's kind yeah. of silly, but it's uh, okay. Good. It's like a it's like a Hollywood uh, movie in, the, in a cave when the when the police and the thief is in the patrol and then attack them and <laughs> and they can uh, liberate the, the thief to to uh, to help uh, the the oh i, I forgot the, the word but it's it's like to to run out there oh to run away yeah Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. not very not very common to see it, but I, it might happen. It's, it might happen. Let's see one of the ladies uh, who would like me, who I would like to participate. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Lisette Pineda. Hi. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, which one is it was the most interesting for you? Or is um... I think the, the most interesting for me is the probably the first one because I I consider the, the man a, a lucky man because mm -hmm. it's it's really strange situation but it's a, it's a important that they, they survive I don't know yeah, <laughs> because it, it, the, the snake it's 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 dangerous animal. And... Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, was it a was it a was it a small snake or a big a big snake? Um, I think um, long. Uh, lo <laughs> alone. Alone. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, yeah. a long snake, a, a big snake. snake. Uh, in big, fact, big. they use a term over the year. They didn't use uh, long or big, which which are okay. It's okay to mm -hmm. say it like that. They use uh, what term do you use to refer the uh, to the snake over there? Uh, someone can help. What was the term? I'm sorry, guys. Two more minutes and we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh huh. What, uh, Someone can help. Uh, they refer to the snake as not big, not huge, not uh, long. They refer to the snake as giant. Okay. 
So as they oh. refer, it was a giant snake. It means oh, okay. what's, uh, what's really big. Uh, yes, okay. Like a, an anaconda? Like, yes, like an uh, anaconda uh, okay. uh, or a, a Birmania uh, python. You oh, know, Birmanians, yeah. pythons are the longest and the biggest um, snake over the world. Oh, well, after the, I guess after the anaconda verde, <laughs> that they call yeah, it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, in order to finish, there are, there are some, um, there are some, uh, um, uh, tomorrow we'll write, uh, we talk about writing a few stories. And remember that the story have a place, have a reason, and have an ending. And there is a call something um, set up. Okay, so for, uh, we'll uh, try to tell our own stories about something that has happened or we have 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 seen it okay so again guys thank you very much so i'll sleep tight sleep very well and try to rest a little bit for tomorrow another day okay see you goodbye thank you and thanks to you bye bye bye, bye. bye.